Historically, many spirits, including spirits in the natural love path, have known that there are major earth changes coming upon the earth. Many of them don't know why changes are happening on the earth. When I say happening on the earth, I don't mean to people. I mean changes happening on the earth to the earth. To the planet. To the planet. Yeah. Uh, historically, all of you would have heard of Atlantis and Lemuria and those, those kind of things. Well, historically what's happened is every time mankind's condition has got into a very bad state, and there's been major cataclysmic change on the earth as a result of man's condition. The reason why this is the case is because your soul, if I just focus a little bit on your soul, your soul is your passions, your desires, your intentions. your longings and many other things too which we'll discuss uh, tomorrow in a lot more detail many men today on earth and I mean mankind generally not men, just men, women too have a desire to continue doing things that damage the earth right? if you look at the country you live in for example you can see quite easily that the actions of each person are damaging the earth. Like, I don't know if you're aware, but just one home generally produces around 60 tonnes of greenhouse gases. Right. So, one home produces around 60 tonnes of greenhouse gas a year. For so, there's a huge amount of damage that's happening onto the earth. Now, the damage comes because the passions, desires, and intentions and longings of each individual person is being exercised in disharmony with love. Does that make sense? Yes. That's how, why it happens. So, what's happening is that if you want to stop damage to the earth, the first thing you need to start addressing is your passions, desires, longings, and intentions. Do you follow me? Yes. Now, the reason why 2012 is, has been a pivotal year is because many spirits over the last quite a few centuries have predicted that the Earth's um, problems would reach a climax at around that time. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Because of the condition of man. Predicted or projected? Predicted. Predicted means it's like destined? No, no, it's not destined. Uh, when pro projected probably yeah. is a, like is a better word. What's going on, we'd say, okay. Yeah. From a spirit's perspective, you imagine for a moment that you're a spirit. Like, right at the moment, who of you has husbands that are not here? <laughs> <laughs> All right? If you were a spirit, you'd be able to see what they're doing right now if you wanted to. Right? So if you're of an inquisitive or a suspicious nature, <laughs> you can go and look at <laughs> So, so this is the thing you see, is that in the spirit world there's a lot more information available to you. Does that make sense? You have the ability to investigate things far more rapidly than you do here on earth. And so spirit, many spirits are in the condition where they can uh, work through the many things that are happening and come up with predictions or of what, what they foretell to be future events. And many of these events were foretold, like even back in the 18, late 1800s. Uh, you've heard of uh, uh, is it Madame Blavatsky? Uh, uh, she was channeled, a channel back then, uh, and she received a lot of information about the damage that was happening to the earth. And then you've heard of Edgar Cayce and these ones, mm -hmm. and they received a lot of information. But you notice that every one of them have had predicted time frames, like Edgar Cayce initially predicted the 50s with the time of great cataclysmic change, and then later in his life he predicted it would be before the year 2000. Um, you've heard of Gordon Michael Scallon? Um, predicted earth changes. He believed that they would all occur before 2000, year 2000. The reason why all these predictions don't come true is because it's far more complicated than a, than a six-year spirit is able to calculate. The reason why is because a spirit on the divine love path knows much, much more about the soul 
The spirit on the natural love path knows very little about the soul. And as a result, the spirit on the natural love path, the path developing natural love, predicts everything based around what they can see occurring, and they don't see what's happening at the soul level. Does that make sense? Now, the reason why I brought all that into this thing of 2012 is that your soul has the capacity to change the events. Your soul has the capacity to change the intensity of the events and the timing of the events. Just your soul, one soul. To give you an example, one soul that reaches the eighth sphere of the spirit world compensates for nearly a billion other souls on earth who are not yet who are in the first sphere. Does that make sense? It compensates in degrees of love. The love, the love of an eight sphere spirit is a billion times more powerful than the love that can be exercised by a first sphere spirit. Follow me? Now you can see straight away that if, if a person progresses to the eight sphere on earth, that can have a huge effect on everything here on Earth, including what's getting projected to the Earth itself. Does that make sense? So the first thing to bear in mind is, with any of these predictive things, is that your soul, as it changes, can change the intensity and the timing of these events. And the reason why six these spirits haven't been able to accurately foretell the events is because they don't know the power of the soul. A, a spirit in the sixth sphere on the natural love path can only compensate for a thousand souls in the first sphere in terms of what they know and realise. Right. So it's very, very different on the divine love path and natural love path. So any comments that I make about the earth's changes right now can be changed by your actions that you take from now on. Does that make sense? So therefore, nothing I say about Earth changes right now can ever be treated as if it's going to occur for sure. Because you have the power to change it. And in fact, I do too. My own condition raising can also change it. Does that make sense? So if you are focused on changing your emotional condition, a lot of these events that would currently happen right now may not happen. Or, if they do happen, may be delayed. So that being said, what kind of events will occur? Well, at the moment, some very major events are going to occur if things continue exactly as they are now. When I say major events, your entire west coast of the USA and right up to Vancouver is going to have some very major cataclysmic events which will cause millions and millions of people to pass in just a few events. This area of Florida, and south, down southways around the Miami region and down there, obviously is, it's been well known for some time, is in, in a state of trouble. And the coming events will probably mean um, that all of that will be underwater. Now, there's also regions out in the Atlantic that are going to rise out in the sea as well. And uh, how much all of these changes occur will depend totally upon the soul condition of people changing in between now and those events occurring. In Australia, the destruction is going to be quite disastrous if it continues as it is now. Uh, in that uh, the majority of Australian cities will be destroyed aside from perhaps two of them. No, the events will begin probably in 2007. This year. And in fact, it, up until recently, it was looking like they would occur in a couple of weeks' time. And in fact, it was looking like the West Coast events of the USA were going to occur before September 30th. Right. But because of some changes in soil condition, and that those events have also been delayed. The trigger event for all of the events is still probably going to remain the same, and that is, you know the western seaboard of the USA, from Vancouver Island all the way down, what is it, to San Francisco and further down. 
in Vancouver Island area, there's this, there's a plate here, I don't know if you know, it's called the Yuan de Fulca plate. The what? What? I don't know if any of you know anything about plate tectonics, but um, what happened is there's this Pacific plate moving in that direction. This Yuan de Fulca plate is moving in that direction. Now you can see that the Pacific plate is butting up against this plate, and this plate is preventing the Pacific plate from moving very much. This plate here will subduct under the coast, uh, under the under USA. This is where all the volcanoes are in the USA, like uh, Hood and uh, San Helens and those volcanoes. When that occurs, this plate can move with with freedom, and uh, there's going to be huge movements along that. Uh, this is a shear fault. This is a subduction fault, and there'll be huge huge movements along that shear fault. And which will mean all of the areas, all of the cities and towns along that coast, obviously are going to have major effects. That is the trigger event for a number of plate tectonic movements around the Earth. And everyone, the Earth, as you may be aware, is, a, is like it's like a series of plates floating on a molten sea. Right? And these plates get recycled. The Earth is constantly recycling itself. And it's a natural movement, but it all happens in major changes due to the soul condition of man. And the other time, the other time in history where the major changes occurred was the time of Atlantis and Lemuria. Whole continents, in fact, disappeared within a few moments because of the changes. And there is the potentiality of continents or, or whole countries disappearing in the coming events as well. Countries like Japan, for example, may disappear completely. So the key thing, though, is that as your soul condition improves, the intensity and timing of these changes all change. Everything changes. And so while, what, so there's two things in terms of answering your question. One is, yes, there will be physical effects on Earth for change, and it's unavoidable, unless huge numbers of people, um, when I wouldn't say huge numbers, obviously if lots of people get on the divine love path, then it doesn't need to be as huge numbers, but as people progress on the divine love path, major, major things can change, major changes that are cataclysmic will be lessened. But there is also a spiritual aspect in that almost every single person who's alive on earth today is aware in their sleep state that these events are going to occur. And because of that, almost every single person has made choices about where to live, what they're going to do, and the earth is in a real state of change. And all of you probably can start feeling you're in a state of change too, right? Even emotionally, you've probably noticed that there's certain emotions within you changing that you've never changed before. And all of this is a part of all of these things that you're becoming aware of in the sleep state. And in the awake state, so when you're awake on Earth, you're starting to become consciously aware of these things as well. Does that make sense? 